I'm trying to break my arm. Not that no this video going viral on Facebook after an arrest in Detroit. The man's girlfriend saying that police officers punched him in the head and groin and then yanked him out of the car. But police say there is more to this story than what's on that video, and they have their own footage of the incident from a squad car dash cam. Now both the girlfriend and Chief James Craig are speaking out. Fox 2's Josh Landon with a story. The girlfriend of the man arrested claims police made a traffic stop for not wearing their seat belts. However, police say they were called out to the area for a family disturbance call caused by the suspect. Part of the police stop and arrest caught on cell phone video Wednesday night by the suspect's girlfriend. The moment that's being questioned is when Tony Ross is punched in the face and what appears to be below the belt by officers. They said, get out, stop resisting. He said, I'm not resisting. I can't move. You just hit me. He said, he just hit me in my, you know, he letting them know what's going on. The officer come across, as you can see in the video, strike, hit him in here. When he hit him, you see my phone fall. Tatiana Taylor claims the traffic stop was for not wearing their seat belts. She says the officers were hostile, and when Ross went to grab his license and registration, they yanked him out of this 1998 Cadillac DeVille. Okay, so he goes right here, he's sitting right here, he goes to reach for his license and his registration, and the officer on this side of the car, on the, on the driver's side of the car, opens up his door and said, get out, get out, get out, get out. But a spokesperson for DPD tells us the officers were called to the area near St. Mary's and Margarita on Detroit's west side for a family disturbance call caused by the suspect who police say resisted arrest for having an outstanding warrant in Harper Woods as well. Chief Craig says an investigation is underway to figure out what exactly happened. I can't give you an assessment at this point whether the force was in policy or out of policy because it's still very early. But again, there was some clear resistance on the part of the suspect, and we are doing an investigation. The chief says based on what appears to be a high level of resistance by Ross, you cannot be quick to call this matter police brutality. Anytime an officer uses force, whether it's a punch, a kick, uh, whether we're using a side handle baton, it looks bad always. Uh, we do know that when an officer has to use force, it has to be that amount of force necessary to overcome resistance. I feel like they could have took precaution or could have did something else better than what they did. Tony Ross remains in police custody and he will be arraigned in Harper Woods for that outstanding warrant at police headquarters. Josh Landon, Fox 2 News. All artists in need of hot beats, hit up dolobeats.com. We got them bangers. Producers who need them high quality sounds, get your professional sound kit with over 11,000 sounds at dolobeats.com.